Good morning, everybody. Okay, so we're in Nebraska. As you can tell, it's very windy. We're at the Homestead National Historical Park. We're going to go check out this park and see what we can do today. So come on, let's go. Hey, everyone. I'm Cupcake. And I'm Cornbread. A.K.A. Melissa and Todd. We converted a 6x10 cargo trailer complete with a rear kitchen galley and a shower. We're traveling all over the U.S. to see everything our beautiful country has to offer. We enjoy making videos of places we visit and also document our cargo trailer build and experiences. We hope you'll join us on our journey as we show you our travel adventures, cargo trailer life, food, and reviews. Back whenever the homesteaders were coming through, they had to make do because they didn't have a Walmart around the corner. So if they had a, a tin can, uh, a sack from seed, uh, an old uh, crate like this, they had to make do. So you might use this crate to make a baby bucky. You might use this crate here to make a pillow or to make a shirt or even make a quilt. With this tin can, you would use it to get water. You might use it to cut it up and make a repairs, make some repairs to a piece of equipment. Or you could even punch a bunch of holes in the top part and use it as a cheese grater or whatever else you would need. But, you know, back then, they just didn't have access, the same access we have now or even the same access they had 50 years ago. Um, so you just had to make do with what you had. Okay, this is a cabin that was uh, owned by a Mr. Palmer. Um, it was located a little distance away from here, but moved here in 1950. Uh, it's right at 220 square feet, plus uh, the lo loft area. Um, one of the kids that lived here growing up, there's a recording of him talking about growing up here, and there was 10 kids. So just imagine a husband and wife with their 10 kids living in 220 square feet. worth of trails here and they kind of like intertwine with each other so let's go get started okay
so we're still in Nebraska. We're at the Homestead uh, Historical Park. We're on one of the trails. Uh, it feels like Louisiana because it's hot without the snakes, without the mosquitoes. But, uh, and I think I made it to, back to the Calcasieu River, maybe. <laughs> Pretty low. Yeah, low compared to the Calcasieu most of the time. But it kind of feels like we're back home. Okay, on this trail there's a dedication uh, to the citizens of Beatrice for all the efforts put forth in the Homestead Centennial Celebration of 1962. They put a time capsule here that is not to be opened until 2062 and the contents used to guide the citizens of Beatrice in the Homestead Sequicentennial Celebration. Okay, Daniel Freeman uh, was one of the first people to sign up for the Homestead Act of 1862. Legend has it that Daniel Freeman was there at 10 minutes after midnight on January 1st, 1863, and he was the first one to uh, file the claim. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for Homestead National Historic Park. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe and follow us on our adventures, please do so. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you soon.